I don't care how this ends. Send me to jail. I'm already in hell. Somewhere here on Vancouver's downtown east side, a group is providing tested and safe cocaine, crystal meth, and heroin. The location is a secret because it's illegal, but the group says it's keeping people alive and away from the toxic street drugs that have killed 1,500 people and counting this year in BC. I don't want to do it. I'm only doing it out of necessity. Do you follow what I'm saying? I don't like selling drugs. In my early 20s, I sold cocaine for, you know, money. It's not a pleasant industry to be in, and it's really annoying. Doing it for no money under an incorporated nonprofit and trying to sue the federal government is even more annoying. City News met with Dolph at its office, away from the brick and mortar store, where about 20 people in the Compassion Club project buy their drugs. Health Canada rejected the group's application to provide the service in July, arguing Dolph is sourcing drugs from the dark web. At the same time, there's no pathway to access the drugs otherwise. Any of the you know, licit safe supply programs, these programs where they're going to pharmaceutically manufacture heroin, either get cut off at a very limited scale because you have to import these substances or there's no domestic production. I'd smoked a bowl of weed and I wake up and there's paramedics all around me. Brian O'Donnell is one participant buying the Compassion Club's drugs. Yeah, you believe this election is, is very important. He uses cocaine and doctor-prescribed Metadol D to treat his heroin addiction. He almost died in 2018, smoking cannabis poisoned with fentanyl. Ever since then, I've been very careful of what goes in my body. Saying 10,000 people have died, I've lost at least 40 people that I know, right, personally. Uh, you know, that a lot, and most of them, they were crack users, but they bought white you know, rock that it was fentanyl. Dolph says none of its Compassion Club participants have overdosed using the group's drugs. A March 2022 BC coroner's office report stressed safe supply is needed to keep people alive. Well, it's been over a year since a federal expert panel recommended Ottawa work to create a safe supply system. In Vancouver, the future of safe supply is unknown. The project is partially funded by Vancouver Coastal Health. City Hall voted to support the Compassion Club's Health Canada application last October, but on the condition Dolph would use a legal supplier. Ahead of the October 15th election, some want Dolph shut down. Others offer few details on how to make safe supply more accessible. This is a crime and we have to stop cracking down on crime. Um, and the, the reason we have the situation, a part of the reason is because this current mayor has been soft on crime. We'll, we'll support whatever, uh, you know, the provincial and federal governments um, support uh, their guidelines. Uh, we've been very clear um, at the end of the day, these are health care issues. Decriminalization is the way forward and uh, I think that is uh, an important po point of agreement, whether it comes to the Dolph application or other measures uh, that would not arrest people if they're caught with drugs. And no one wants to fix a problem because they won't get reelected. And uh, the Gordian not answer to that is, well, we'll just do it illegally. Well, I'm like, we could get arrested, we could get murdered by organized crime. Like, they're really screwing us, you know, on the uh, safety element. And running a compassion club may be taking its toll. Nix recently quit her job because of the long days she needs to spend running multiple tests, packaging, and operating the club. She says it's exhausting. But there are no signs that help is coming. I, I'm, everyone's dead. That's the... Uh, why we continue to operate. In Vancouver, Crystal Ladaris, City News.